Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. It's that time of the week. I'm so excited about tonight. I pray that you're having a fantastic day. I pray that God's choice blessings are yours. And I do know that no matter how blessed you are, and I know that you're blessed because God is good and worthy to be praised. I know that he's blessing you because you're able to watch, you're able to hear, you're able to see, you're alive, you have a reasonable portion of your health and strength. Perhaps things are not going the way that you want, but just keep serving him. He knows how to bring these things to pass. But I know that God is going to bless you because, uh, well, that God's going to bless you again because there is a word from the Lord tonight. I'm excited about what the Lord has given me to teach. Now, you know, my friends, I tell you, it seems to me that controversy and uh, and uh, some type of uh, uh, attunement uh, follows our ministry. Now, uh, this past Sunday, while preaching the word of the Lord, we pointed out some true things about one of the presidential candidates who are running, uh, 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 Miss uh, Kamala Harris, who is who has been selected to be the uh, the, the the vice presidential candidate running along with Joe Biden. And in the message, we pointed out that she performed a same-sex marriage. And we were just talking about, uh, the point is, when people tell, tell you or show you who they are, then you ought to believe them. And I don't know why that has created so much controversy, but I tell you, it's going all over everywhere. Uh, people are talking. And you know what, my friends? I don't take it back. I've never performed a same-sex wedding. She's the one who did it, and she did it publicly. And also, when she was in office, it is true that she locked up uh, uh, African Americans uh, uh, disproportionately. And uh, and these things, these things are not good for us. Now, however you vote, I want to say this to you. That's between you and the Lord. And tonight's message is not going to be a political ad. I am, as I've said to you many times before, I am a registered non-affiliate, and I praise the Lord that I am, and I intend to remain that way. But the reason we have to speak to these issues today is because of politics, entertainment, sports, you name it, these uh, uh, industries, uh, uh, for lack of use of a better word, discipline, these ways, these lifestyles, these things have crept on uh, into and on God's territory and they have walked into the church. And too many believers, too many believers are beginning to do what my critics said that I should do years ago. They said what Wooden doesn't understand is that you've got to separate your religion from your politics. I say today what I said then. I, did, I didn't think that you separated your religion from anything. I think that our religion, our relationship with God, our, our being saved, our living according to the scriptures guides everything else, everything that is a part of our lives, including our voting, including everything else, because the Bible teaches in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will direct that path. The Bible also says that God will bring every work into judgment. So he pays attention to everything that we do. And my friends, I'm going to be honest with you. I want to be saved. I, I'm born again. I want the Lord to keep me. And I have made it, uh, uh, made a decision that I'm going to stick with the word of God. And I'm going to be teaching you tonight. Uh, one of the things that I want you to do is to be strong. The message that I preached Sunday that caused such a stir was actually entitled No Weapon. Isaiah 54, 17. God says no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Isn't that amazing? No weapon. And there are many weapons out there. And the Bible says in every tongue that shall rise up against you in judgment, thou shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. God says, for their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So, my friends, stay strong. Uh, listen, I know that uh, this uh, 
uh, the, the stay at home, the shutdown, the coronavirus, the response to the virus, COVID-19. Oh, my, we're inundated with this stuff all the time. Now we're into uh, the political season, the conventions, and, uh, and you see where college campuses are shutting down, sports that people have looked to this time of the year for relief. <laughs> Many of them are saying, now nah, we're not going to play. And then the sports that are being played, you look, you, you got to watch the sports. And then uh, 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 see that they've been inundated with a uh, political messaging, uh, uh, virtue signaling. Now we're getting our our virtue and how we should feel and what we should think from overpaid athletes. No, we're going to stand on the word of God. The Bible is right. Hallelujah. And everything is going down but the word of God. Amen. So my friends, I want you to meet me tonight. Meet me here. We're going to walk through the scriptures. I'm going to defend the word of the Lord. I'm going to teach the word of the Lord and God's word is going to bless you. I don't even have time to tell you about the healings and the miracles and how the Lord have, have shrunk uh, diseases and, and tumors have shrank. Cancers have, have been rebuked. Oh, there are so many things that the God of the Bible is doing. And I thank God for every miracle. I thank the Lord for every deliverance. I thank God for the good things that the God of the Bible is doing in the earth today. And I will see you here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ tonight for... Bible study. You guessed it. Yes, Bible study. We are going to study the word of the Lord together. God bless.